nobody is above the law and gets away with it. That is what I want to... Title home. Or start this video. This is the last one on the series of... Andrew Cuomo. As you know, he is facing some very, very serious charges right now. That he's not facing any charges, but he has accusations of criminal behavior. Not making the um, White House death number data sheets or, you know, whatever public. And giving them to, you know, make them, you know, making them public. And, you know, getting the data out there that shows that the governor is doing a horrible job keeping the death numbers low in nursing homes. <clears throat> now, here, here's the big thing I want to ask. That I want to say in this video. And that is. Everybody is innocent until proven guilty. In the court of law. So whatever criminal behavior. You are being accused of. You cannot escape you cannot escape a guilty verdict if those accusations turn out to be true about you. There is obviously no way you can escape that. When you are found guilty in the court of law, you can't escape going to prison for your act of being criminal. A criminal, sorry. There's nothing you can do about that. You just have to live with the fact that you've been found guilty and you need, your time in prison will be served. And it... Sorry about your criminal behavior is not going to cut it because it's not going to be used as an excuse for you've learned your lesson and stuff. Please don't take me to jail because, well, I'm not, I'm, I'm innocent. I don't deserve to be, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. When they say you are going to jail because of, some criminal accusations that people have complained of you doing to them and violating them in any way and that stuff. Then, yeah, you you gotta, um, you have to accept the fact you can't, you can't even... <clears throat> There's no and, if, or buts about it. What you... What anybody does... When it is... What it, when it's an act of criminal behavior and that stuff... There are people that... Are... Feel sorry for what they did. Others... Do not feel guilty for what they've done and that stuff. They feel sorry for, you know, being caught in the act of it. But their feelings can sometimes not be um, real. They could feel sorry because they got caught and stuff. And not even feel like any sense of... Remorse whatsoever. That's the difference. 
Now, Andrew Cuomo, maybe his feelings are true in that stuff, but that does not but that does not give him the excuse to not face these kind of charges. If those accusations that the people are complaining against Andrew Cuomo for, if they're real on that stuff, he's got to face jail time. He's going to lose his job as governor of New York and we will all go from there. On top of that, I want to thank him for uh, handling the COVID-19 pandemic properly and we will just go from there. And hopefully this all ends soon. Everybody should be, you know, vaccinated by, by May. So, I'm not really scared. My number one reason for being scared that Governor Cuomo would lose his job as governor was because of COVID. <clears throat> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what was said here, please comment and subscribe to the channel, Charles Morse. And I will see you all in the next video.